Dominic. Welcome back to Pop Modern Plays. Alan just pulled a hair off the mic. I pulled a hair off the mic. We're back. We're fighting this guy. Oh god, he's like Gollum's dad. Yeah, so the way I fight this guy, we just spam with these first. Well, that's not fun. And then... Oh, you're gonna make them all go boom boom. And then devil trigger, and then boosh. Oh my god. So it does a lot of damage and gets him down to this so I can just wail on him. I didn't know we were playing the exploit game. I thought we were playing Devil May Cry. I'm playing the beat this guy as fast as I possibly can. And you're just raging on that Y button right And now. he's dead. Wow. So that's how you beat that guy. Lickety split. Oh god. Is this a dance club? I'm yeah, for this. There's a dance club level. Shit. Yeah. I hate this guy. Because yeah. he's all like block all of your attacks except for like the Whoa. the axe to actually like, get hits on him. So that's why he's a one man wave? Yeah. And then there's a two man wave of him later on. Oh gosh. But Animation can you get higher than triple S rank? Uh, no, triple S is the highest. Why does the meter keep filling up when you get triple S? So you can keep it at triple S. Oh. And it's dead. Well, alright. That was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Those guys suck, especially on the campaign when you don't have as many abilities. Because then he's just almost. He takes forever. And there's like a specific, like, special guy who has like a red mask. He's a pain in the butt. Red mist? There's too many flying guys. Red mask, more like red mist. Uh, jokes, jokes, jokes. We are comedians here. <laughs> red, red Skull. Red Hood. Different universes. Same. Yeah, come on. Don't. <laughs> we're not. We're not here to to come out to fuse universes. The game does it for us. Uh, jokes. Right. That was good because that attack was more of a hit. Blocked his little shots. Right. I think the closest. I was like thinking of what games have I gotten way into like the stupid. The, not the stupid, but like the. Like combo based modes, where it's like, you know, the survival challenge room modes. Mm -hmm. And I think the last one I got way into, off the top of my head, is God of War 3. Yeah. Which uh, was like the last game that I can remember that I made a huge effort to platinum. Which I never did, because I think you had to beat it on like the hardest difficulty, and that was the one I stopped on. Yeah, I'm just gonna let this guy explode. <laughs> but I think there was like, either a costume you unlocked, or a really like a silver or gold trophy you unlocked for beating the whole challenge mode. Mm -hmm. And it was so hard. But I beat it, and it wasn't like, to be fair, it wasn't hard the way a lot of challenge modes are, where it's like, the one level that takes you like a week to beat, and then you beat it when you're like a year later. Mm -hmm. I never had that, like I did beat it all in like two sittings, but it was brutal. There's a lot of like, excuse me, I'm like throwing pots at things, and you have to hit them very precisely and quickly. Um, I like that game a lot though. Yeah. This was the last like big character action game that I got way into, I think. Out of War 3. The only games that I'm close to perfecting this one because I only have like some difficulty based achievements and collectibles left. Yeah. But I have all of the character upgrades <coughs> and all the collectibles in the Dante story. Right, right. I have all the collectibles in Virgil's DLC. What are you saying is they should announce a new one already so you can have another thing to perfect? I mean, yeah, sure. That could work. What other, game, what other game are you close um, to? I don't know about close to, but on the Xbox. 360? Have, yeah, 360, not the one. Uh, I have Sonic Generations perfected all by myself. Ugh. Screw you, that game's good. Yeah. That's a good Sonic game. I'm like... That's an oxymoron! No, Sonic 1 and 3? Sonic 2? They're Those fine. Games. They don't hold up super well. They have annoying levels. They have entire levels that are mindlessly frustrating. <laughs> like yeah. you're just butchering these dudes. Anyhow, Sonic Generations is a good one. Sure. Despite what you say. And Batman Arkham Asylum, but that was a uh, joint Oof. effort between me and my brother. Right. And uh, I'm not sure what my progress is in Arkham City. No, oh, don't do that. Yeah, that's probably different. I couldn't even finish all the side missions. I'm pretty game. sure my brother was the one that got all the river trophies. Oh, Magellan. He did a bunch of the river stuff. Our fellow editor. My fellow editor. Yeah. Um, but it, but it, but it, but it, but it, I love those Arkham games, man. Yeah. I love the Asylum, I love City, I never touched Origins. I want to get Origins to at least have played it before Arkham Knight comes out, because Arkham Knight looks amazing. It's been like really cheap on the Steam sale. James, Jim bought it. James. Yeah. I wonder if I can run it. I know he can't run it. I don't know why he bought it for his laptop. Like, But to be fair, I'm always surprised at what he can run. I don't think it's because his specs are much better than mine. I think he's just adjusted to lower frame rate better than I am. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because he was playing... Uh, he got way into Crisis 3. 
<laughs> just because he could run it, and he's like, dude, it's so awesome, and it was free or something. Like, Did you like see him play it, and it was like the slowest frame rate you've ever seen? I have never seen it on his laptop, but the only thing I've seen him play live on his laptop was Risk of Rain, and I mean, that game doesn't have specs, like nothing high. Um, yeah. But he like has, I don't want to say low, not, I don't want to say low standards, that's wrong. He has, but I, it's just, it's actually worse when you start to notice stuff like frame rate, because then every game bothers you a little bit, yeah. when you're like, oh, I can see the frame drop. When you can, like, tell that that texture is not as high res as it could be. Yeah, especially when you play older games, and you're like, that one's low, that one's high. Like, the character texture is really good, but the background yeah. is terrible. Like, in Half-Life 2, you can notice that, like, the less important NPC's hands are, like, stuck together. <laughs> but, like, Alex Vance has, like, like, really shiny eyes that reflect the world, and her fingers are all separate. She has, like, fully developed... She's just a real person that they put in the game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wave 47. Half-Life 2 used to be my favorite game of all time. Half-Life 2 is pretty good. I think it was one of the first Steam games I ever played. Yeah. When we got... When we played the demo version of it, I could not play Raven Home because I was too chicken. Yeah, it's still scary. It's, it's easier now when you realize... Because there's the achievement for playing it with only your gravity gun or whatever. Yeah, which is entirely possible. Yeah. It's just... I'm too late. You do, and the only thing also is, like, every once in a while, they'll give you, like, two seconds where enemies come at you and there's nothing around you to pick up. And you're like, oh, no, you I gotta have, break... You'll have to, like, carry a saw blade with you. Exactly. You, you just either carry something with you all the time or backtrack a little bit. Like, the level is actually riddled with stuff, so... You never... It's it's actually not hard. That's the fun way to play it. If you play it as, like, a straight shooter, it's all, it's, a, it's actually really easy and fast. Yeah. So... The only, like, yeah. disconcerting parts now at this point is when you hear the fast zombie screech from oh. a mile away and you don't know where it's coming from yet. Yeah, this guy. We were... The first time we played Gary's Mod this summer, and you just <laughs> spawned in, like, three I of them. I just spawned in a bunch of fast zombies while you were trying to build something. I'm, like, over here, and I just hear... <laughs> what is that? There's a, na that's, there's a name for that scream. It's the Aria Monster scream. That they mentioned on another YouTube show that we don't talk about. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Is it's that that scream he yes. was talking about? Yes, it is. Really? Yes. Huh. It's very similar, at least. I always can kind of misconstrue them. I think it's oh the Howie scream. That's what it is. It's like the yeah yeah. I also when he said it's the Odd Real Monster scream, I was like, hey, that's the show I used to love. Um, uh, these little buggers. These are like the mini guys of those rats. That these were buggers. There. Jun Snoo, the bastard son of it, our stock. It's a Game of Thrones reference for you kids out there. I know who Jon Snow is, and in shows I watch, or podcasts, or whatever, they say that Jon Snow is like. There's either people that really love him, or they're just like, he looks so derpy. Well, yeah. He's kind of just there to be like, oh, everything's hard. Ooh. You know, like, he just has a crappy life. But everyone does on that show, in that world. And that actor is pretty good. He used to be one of my favorites, but now I'm a tearing guy. I feel like he's your favorite when you like characters for the way they look and seem to you in your head, as opposed to who they are as characters. Uh -huh. Like, you get older and you start to realize you like the older people who are, like, not super cool or do anything badass, but they're really clever. And you're like, that's actually my favorite. Like, Elena Tyrell, who's, like, the old matriarch character uh, for one of the characters in the show, is, like, my favorite because she just snaps at everyone. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, really clever and... Persnickety, which is a yeah. really good word, by the way, persnickety. Good, good vocabulary on the show. Yes, <laughs> we, we're the hooked on phonics of YouTube shows. Yeah. This level looks really cool. I feel like I'm not even paying attention to what you're doing, but I'm just way into it. You're taking care of all the talking while I try to <laughs> kill people. Aw, speaking of talking, I guess I could mention it. Mm. Uh, I'll save it. I don't need to mention it. Talk modern. I'll just throw that word, out, that phrase out there and never say it again. Sounds like a podcast to me. No, we have a podcast that the first episode of still hasn't been edited, even though we recorded it like a month ago. Who's that on? Oh, me? Okay. Um, Gotta get your audio edited. No, Talk audio. Modern is a was an attempt to turn uh, some of my longer form essay or shorter form essays into informal video series. Mm -hmm. Very much in the way of like... Patrick Clifford from Giant Bomb is doing a lot of that stuff now. He just calls them video essays. Yeah. And Aaron, they're kind of just like Aaron Signal, where, or like his oldest versions of videos, where it wasn't like him talking over video, it was just him talking over pictures. And I was going to do that, where I was like going to talk about something and do it over video. So, for example, like your Assassin's Creed 3 article that just went out, <coughs> hey. have been like talking instead of. Yes, instead of written. Because, um, I mean, a lot of people 
don't have the time to read all the articles that we post. But they always listen to something while driving the car. Exactly. So you can listen to that. Whoever those people are. And if you want a visual element, there is a visual element. Problem is, um, A, when I'm trying to do like formal speaking, I'm really bad at it. Like, I'm really bad at formal speaking. This looks cool again. Oh, Devil Trigger? Yeah. I got fed up with those guys, so I just hit them with it. Yeah. I need to... That's the game I play when I do this mode. I have to make sure that I don't die on these waves, but that I have enough Devil Trigger to use against bosses to make them go by faster. You can one shot all the bosses or whatever. What? This has to have an end, right? There's a way to beat this whole mode. Um, I think if you go through all the bosses. Right, that's what I'm saying. But I've never done it. Like, I've gotten to, like, the fourth set of waves, which is, like, based off the last level. But I, like, immediately died when I got to that. Oh, yeah. Uh, when I got to that set of Dude, waves. Dude, it's You're already at half health. Yeah. Um. Then there's absolutely no way to get your health back. Devil Trigger, and then, like, some of the flying enemies have health, health orbs once you kill them. There's no way to, like, grind it, though. Yeah. What was I talking about? Oh, talk about it. Yeah. yeah, I was... It's an article that's gonna go up later this week, so I don't want to talk about what it was gonna be, but... It, like, me talking, I have trouble keeping a good rhythm. Because that's another thing you realize from people who do, like, video essay stuff, is... You have to have a good voice. Because mm -hmm. if you're just listening to someone draw on, then you get, like, a early angry video game nerd thing. Yeah. Um, or just like a crappy... It, it feels shoddy. And like, also, thing you don't realize about video editing, very time consuming. Yeah. Not just... It's not necessarily difficult. Like, what I was just trying to do was talking over images and like timing when the images go up and go away. That's not hard. You just... there's It's very easy in a premiere, but uh, it takes so long. In like three days, I finished five minutes <laughs> of video. I was like, no, this will never get done. And I scrapped yeah, it for an article. When I made my little animation thing, which... The animating is easier than the, the editing? Well, what I did with the editing was that I would make the scene, uh -huh. and then once I'd done that, I would go into a specific file that I'd set aside for the video editing. Because my modeling software also has a built-in video editor. Oh. So I had one file that was set for just editing the video, so I would put the images in and like do all the sound for that scene at that point. Not the music, the music was like the last thing, so mm -hmm. I could like time it all once I had everything done. But I would like set the footsteps and like the attack sounds once I had the scene all rendered out. And then I would go and do the animate the next scene. It was like a bit by bit process. Just like killing these blue and red dudes? Yeah. Hey, you got frozen. <gasps> let it go, let it go. I don't know the words that's song. I don't care about it. I don't want it. When you work in a dentist's office like I did for a while, or when I was shadowing, um, you really like memorize every song that's on the radio. Yeah. Because it's just droning forever and ever and ever. Like when you take a bus to uh, school, you start learning. You learn all songs. the songs on the radio, exactly. And then you're just like... I heard this song this morning. Why is it here again? No, yeah. So yeah, that's the thing. Is though, when you're there for that long, you you start hearing. You realize there's like ten songs, and then you're just hearing them loop forever. Yeah. Not even in order, but it's you're not bad. doing as well as it could here. I don't want to use Devil Trigger because it's gonna use up my only source of health. Oh, right you're now. gonna die soon. Is this gonna be the final episode? No. Oh wow, defiant. There should still be at least one more. I don't know if I'll get past the next set of waves, because I usually have difficulty on that set. On the set? Because the next set gives me difficulty, but the one after that, I just thought that I died. Oh. I got frozen with the witch. Oh. Okay. Good. Just testing something. Don't worry about it. What are you doing over there? Nothing. Why are you messing with your phone? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I, I am, you. I am. Uh, I just sent you a message on Steam and I want to see if it popped up on that on the video. I yeah. set myself yep. busy mm -hmm. and I turned off notifications. It doesn't say you're busy. It says you're playing Dimka Dimumukra. Did busy usually I just set it when I'm sitting at my computer but I don't want people to message me. But then still someone always inevitably messages me like, Hey, I want to play uh, Buff Bumpers 98. I'm like, first of all, it's not on sale yet. I can't buy it. Second yeah. of all, shut up. <laughs> Uh, great, great. Wait, um, we should end the video after this. Or, I mean, I mean, no, it's almost time. You think you can finish this wave? Yeah. <gasps> it's really hard. 
Let's do it. Do it and brew it. I don't want to watch this. Let's just watch him be a Zen master right now. I just forgot we were recording for a second and I was like not gonna talk. I was like, wait, wait, I need yeah. to say words. <laughs> That's good though. Right, I, I now have a problem. I only have three waves, still the boss, but I'm out of Devil Trigger. Uh oh. So you gotta start grinding Devil Trigger? Yeah, I need to start. Once Do I kill more people. Are you gonna kill more people next time on Pop Modern Plays? Uh, maybe. Or I'll just die. Or just do this.